today we are at San Quentin State Prison. This prison currently houses just under 4,000 inmates. Everything from California's only condemned population all the way to general population and people who are newly entering into the prison, which is our reception center. Within the 4,000 individuals who are housed here at the prison, we have a number of individuals who are actively working to elevate their lives and their situations and preparing to re-enter the community as productive citizens. Uh, but that's just one part of our neighborhood. It's a very, very complex place, and there are different neighborhoods in the prison, some that are more accommodating, other neighborhoods that are much more difficult. Daily life, I mean, it's prison life. Unless you're in programs, you get up 5 o'clock in the morning or so. You go to breakfast 5.30. My day begins uh, right after breakfast. I come back, brush my teeth, and then um, I go to work. So San Quentin is very unique for me. My mornings are extremely busy. I wake up, I hurry up and make coffee, I hurry up and eat breakfast. I get to work, which is the education department. But throughout the day, I'm constantly reading something, writing uh, either an essay or a rough draft on my essay for college. Then I have other self-help groups and rehabilitative programs that they offer here. So that's the type of culture that's here in San Quentin. When you first come into prison, all you're concerned is your safety and try to look at the dynamiter of the prisons and to observe everything. And you don't know what to expect when you get off the bus. You go through a process of being received in reception center and stuff. But when I came on the main line, I stopped meeting a lot of people. It eased it a little bit, but you still have that uneasy feeling of things erupting on the yard. So you don't know when it's going to happen, so you stay vigilant. Once you get the layout of things and you see the intensity of the yard and the diversity of the yard, and you see where everybody's located at, then once you see it's a little easy here at San Quentin and you hear about the programs and stuff and you start participating in the program and meeting people and stay, you know, you stay away from them until you kind of meet them in classrooms and stuff like that. Then you start to talk a little bit more and, and that level of stress drops down a little bit more. We're fortunate to be situated in the Bay Area, where, and it's an urban area and has a lot of access to, from the public. It's not a, a long drive because a lot of prisons are in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's still prison, right? But it's not like uh, your, your level four, your typical level three. It's a pretty laid back atmosphere. In San Quentin's education department, we offer GED testing basic adult education and we're one of the few prisons in the United States that have an on-site college program where our inmates are able to obtain an AA degree here at this prison without any cost to the taxpayer at all. This place is like a college campus. It's not like any other prison. We have over 70 something self-help groups which range from everything from emotional intelligence, technology development, they have Shakespeare, they have acting, just anything, anything that you could think of, they offer it. This place definitely has rehabilitation on its mind. That's the, the, the main takeaway that I get from being here. I actually get to find out what rehabilitation looks like because on a level four, you know, there's nothing. There's maybe an AA, possibly an anger management program, but those programs, they're not really taken seriously because it's just not the culture of the yard. There's a lot of hopelessness, basically. Guys come in with, you know, 50 to life, 100 to life, three life sentences, and there's really no incentive for them to do well or try to be better people. I mean, we all have that inside, but based on the environment, it's not really that much of an opportunity to make a, a, a positive step. Well, prison is what you make it. You know, there's politics, there's policy, you know, procedures, boundaries set in prison. So you have to learn that. But then when you determine in yourself you want to be a better person, then the programs are there and then you see that you are capable of rehabilitating yourself.